So there's a new type of entrepreneurship that's bothering me, and I'd like you to help me come up with a name for it, something snarky. Let me explain what it is. So you know when you play Dungeons and Dragons, and there's that one guy who's read every rule in every rule book and knows exactly how to maximize his class modifiers, race is perfect for, you know, just has this advantage. And the advantage is gained through his hard work, but still kind of manages to really annoy the crap out of the DM and maybe some of his fellow party members. We have a whole government full of people who don't understand how technology works. And they're making the laws. They're overcomplicated, difficult to read, and have these weird opportunities built in. There's this new group of rich people who made their money by understanding legal terms and understanding technology and utilizing these class multipliers in order to make a fortune. The most famous case is actually Senator Mark Warner, who's a Democrat out of Virginia. And if you believe in privacy, you should write his name down because honestly, he's the only one introducing legislation that makes sense about this. But the way that he made his money back in the 80s and the 90s, before they really understood how important mobile phones were going to be, they started doing these lotteries or allowing people to buy chunks of the spectrum. And if you're not really familiar with what that means, information that's broadcast through the air travels on waves. So if you want to pick up a radio station, you change to a particular wavelength. So WTF 96.9 is just a number that's assigned to that particular length of this wave. <laughs> now, you don't use radio waves for cell phones usually, maybe walkie-talkies. And in the 80s and 90s, they didn't understand how big cell phones were going to be. So at first, they allowed people to buy chunks of it. So in 1982, Mark Warner, who was not then a senator, drove to investment firms or like venture capital firms and told them that they needed to buy this. The buying of it was very difficult. But he knew how to fill out the forms and he had a law degree. And so in exchange for 5% of whatever they bought, he would help them buy it. He also had to explain sometimes why it was going to be important. At some point, the U.S. government realized this wasn't fair and they started a lottery system, at which point there were like dentists and lawyers and just random people signing up for the lottery. And Mark Warner understands technology. So what does he do? He starts a cell phone company, he calls it Nextel. And he goes around buying up all these dentists' little chunks of the spectrum. By the way, this might sound shady, but all of this is completely legal. He's just using the rules. Eventually, Sprint bought Nextel for 30-something billion dollars. And they didn't want the company. They just wanted the spectrum. And now Mark Warner is one of the richest people in Congress and actually doing amazing things. But I still wouldn't want to play D&D &D with the guy.